everyone? It is Kelly here. We have Zach right here, and look at this wild hyena that's in the streets. <laughs> Hello, it's hi, so honey. <laughs> it does kind of look like a baby hyena. Our, is this our restaurant right here? No? No. Oh, okay. A little bit further. So, yesterday we flew in to San Jose, Costa Rica, and then we took about a two hour taxi ride to La Fortuna, which is where we are right now. We are walking to our breakfast location, which our taxi driver yesterday uh, recommended this place. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go eat here. What's it called again though? Uh, soda La Hormiga, a little soda stand. Soda La Hormiga. And I'm trusting Zach to guide the way because I have no idea where it is. It's a small town. It's really, you can get lost here, but not, it's a little bit different. Huh. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad, but. We have a really cool Airbnb over that way. And when you walk up to the rooftop of the Airbnb, you can see the volcano that is like, kind of like one of the main attractions here in La Fortuna. You got the volcano, you have waterfalls. Sloths. You, you have sloths, <laughs> which hopefully we're gonna see a sloth in this trip. We're gonna be in La Fortuna for four days. So today is like our officially first full day here. We're gonna do a little bit of a coffee and chocolate tour because I love chocolate and coffee and he loves chocolate and coffee. <laughs> so we're, we're pretty much playing tourist um, the first four days that we're here, which is super cool because that's not like a thing that I- It's not normal at all for us to like do tourist <laughs> activities. It's very different. Yeah, like I feel like when I travel a lot, I know, you know, a lot of locals in the areas and stuff, but this is like brand new. And I got the tour shoes on. Rocking the Tevas. It is a look. It is, and it's kind of funny because, like, I growing up, I swore to myself I'd never wear these shoes. They just look like, I don't know, they just look goofy. And then I went to Hawaii like eight years ago, and I'm like, people were like, hi like hiking waterfalls with them, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy a pair. They're great for hiking waterfalls in. <laughs> so, all right. There it is coming up. Oh. As right you can there? see, we got the little soda stands everywhere. The soda stands are like the little mom and pop restaurants that are just scattered all throughout Costa Rica. And honestly, it's the best food that you're gonna get. Typical dishes, and it's cheap. It's, it's if you wanna see the local experience, you go to the sodas. Sodas. What's the word for the dish? Uh, casado. Casado is the lunch meal that they have. Well, we're gonna try to be getting some desayuno, some breakfast and hopefully some gallo pinto, some little tortillas, a couple scrambled eggs, you know, it's gonna be good. Huevos. <laughs> Huevos. <laughs> yeah, so if you do see a little um, mom and pop shop, they call sodas, which is really interesting. So, all right, we're gonna get breakfast and then we're taking you guys along for the ride. Pinto means rice and beans. Con is with, carne is meat, in salsa. Pinto con carne and salsa. How'd I do? You sound like a local already. <laughs> We're gonna get right back to Costa Rica, but first I want to give a huge shout out to Ipsos I Say for sponsoring today's video. Ipsos I Say is a survey-based company that values your opinion and in return you get rewarded with money. With your rewards you can donate to charity transfer funds into your account through PayPal, or select any gift card of your choosing. There's many different gift cards to choose from, but my favorite one is Amazon, just because I do buy a lot of stuff on there. I absolutely love finding new ways to earn extra cash. I mean, who doesn't, right? And you can do it in the comfort of your home. Now, when I'm sitting at the airport, waiting on a flight, I can simply go onto the app, take some surveys and get rewarded, or if I'm just sitting on my couch on a rainy day. So if you would like to earn some extra cash, just like I'm doing, click the link in the description below to start earning rewards with Ipsos I Say today. Pretty sure that's a volcano right there. The tip of it's in the clouds right now. That's a big old hill. That's just one big old hill. That's a big hill if you ask me. We're from Florida, so we ain't never seen hills that big before. 
They sure as hell don't got hills like that back home, let me tell you that. Look at that hill right there. That's a big hill. We have to pick our umbrella. Oh, you got the red one? All right. Red is bold, red is bold. And we're about to take our little coffee and chocolate tour right now. The rest of the group is over there. This is gonna be interesting. I have absolutely no idea what this is gonna entail. We're at the Northfield Coffee. What's it, Northfield? Northfield's Coffee Tour. Coffee and chocolate tour. Yes. It's not even raining yet, but you know, you can never be too prepared. <laughs> and I just like carrying an umbrella. First, oh. Capacito de tomatoes, right? Can you wake up? So we can. So we are gonna go for We're getting right for the good stuff. So tell me, so well, I have a person from Dinamarca, Denmark. How about you guys? Uh, Florida. 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 Very good. I'm glad to hear that. Have you ever been gas in a coffee or a cacao? Commercial one? Something cold? Something for coffee garage. So we have more than 5,000 coffee species Arabica and Robusta. Have you seen that one before? So people gas mix it with the coffee shells, peanuts, the shell, sugar, corn, rice, insects. The only gas to filter is also the method inside with hot water. We never use anything else. The name is over here, guys, on the handle. Bandola. 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 Over here, Bandola. 100% the account. It is, guys, a super food. It has a lot of antioxidants. It's really good for your memory. So proteins, guys, vitamins, and much more vitamins. 100% account. Not bad. I like that. It's the better. It is. After. Ooh. 85. This one has some sugar now. 85. 85. Wait, right, just in case. Sometimes people oh. get, you know, scary, guys. Bean? So interesting. Right? So gummy. I did not think it was going to be like this. <laughs> Cheers. See? Oh, it tastes like the a fruit. The texture gas is weird, but it tastes is good. Yeah. Fruity, right? Fruity. Tastes like, like, cassette apple. I don't really know how to eat it. It kind of tastes like, like an Atamoya. Like a leech. Yeah, leech. Like a, like I'm a trying not to. You just like to. suck on it, I think. Mm -hmm. Kind of tastes like sour sop, Atamoya. Traveling guys and spitting. Then guys, you can spit it and put it back in the ground. Mm -hmm. So mis mm -hmm. amigos, they might be in on the forest floor. So they are gonna sprout in about a week, something like that. <laughs> Germination process. It is quickly, guys. So these are the pods of the chocolate. How cool is that? So beautiful. I wish I could have these in my backyard. That would be amazing. And they were saying that these little flowers, let's see if we can find one, right here, they bloom off the bark and they'll grow these. But since it's in the rainforest, they have to clean the moss off the trees so these flowers can bloom in order to produce the cacao. This is a candy coated chocolate roasted bean. Is it good? That's good. Like that. Oh my god! Roasting process. That is so good. That was a really good, yeah. These Roasting are excellent. Process. A long time ago, used wow. to be gas in a wood fire. So now I'm using gas and metal, guys. So now, oh my god, it's so good. Better. The cocoa bean. We break mm. it back into many tiny pieces. That is delightful. Let me go closer. These guys, are more roasted beans. This. Show me, guys, your hand like this. Oh. No, you don't eat them? Oh, you don't thing. eat them? No. I don't know about this one. Oh. Well, I just did. Oh, he said to crack them, right? Yeah, crack them in the bean. They're just bitter. <laughs> While I'm eating this. <laughs> the other you break one too. the bean, you crack the bean, and look at that. See? Oh, I see. So, Before we get this ones. I didn't listen to directions. Do I eat this, the crumbles? Uh huh. <laughs> Have you ever seen this cacao. one? Cacao. There, are yes. these cacao nibs? Muy bien. Yeah. Sure. When I was Both in Belize, beans. I bought a bunch of cacao nibs. Yes, right? yeah. People eat it just like this. They're good with for you. Granola mm. on Lots of antioxidants. Yes, I love it on 
And people used to sing also, bate, bate, chocolate, bate, bate, chocolate, bate, bate, chocolate, bate, bate, chocolate. Coco needs. The taste wasn't bad. This one, guys, tastes a little bit worse. This tea is so good. It's so yummy. This tea is delicious. There is more in case you can watch that. It's not the best one. I'm super curious. Oh, I got a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It just tastes like coca nibs and a paste. Tell me, guys. That's uh, not good. I'm not going to lie. I like it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Finish it. So when I went we to eat the whole thing at once, let me see how much you really like. I just ate like all that. Can we make it better? When well, I went to Belize, yes. I bought yes. coconut nibs <laughs> and I put them on top of my Sugar. yogurt granola, <laughs> and it tastes and exactly the same. It's just in a paste. Like Seventy, but with coffee. This one is without any coffee, just brown sugar. You want the? <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. And voila. Oh no, that was perfect. Okay. I really like that. Oh, my goodness. Chili? Quality control. The salt makes it sweeter and takes away the bitterness. I'm tired to do these guys every day. Did you do wow. tahini? Yeah. Really? Really good. Really oh, good. Gosh. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Right? The aftertaste, yeah. too. The aftertaste is really interesting. We try that vanilla. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, tahini slaps. <laughs> yeah, the tahini is really good. That's really good. this machine we call it trapiche so to do it guys I'm going to need six of you guys six people so I'm going to need one and two we've been up this way this way this way this way we've been go for it see wow so juicy sometimes a splash a lot of this water up in your mouth don't waste it ah. Thank you. Mix. That was a you juicy sugar cane. Now, <laughs> the last two victims. So, but he rains a lot, so the canes are absorbing mm -hmm. a little bit too much water. Cheers. <laughs> wow. Sweet. That's good. Tasty. Yeah. Fresh. That's good. Salute, amigos. That's really sweet. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Salute. Ching ching. <laughs> See, it's not too sweet. It's yeah, not yummy. Too weaker, it's delightful. Right? Yeah, it's there is more in case if you want more, right? Don't be shy. I got raindrop. Uh. All right. So after our chocolate and coffee tour, we made a new friend. This is Brian from Denmark. <laughs> you say, hi to the camera. say hi to your fans, Brian. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> he was kind enough to give us a ride over here to the La Fortuna waterfall, um, which is a pretty popular destination here in La Fortuna. As you can see, there's a lot of people here, and it's pretty built up. Oh, look at that dog. <laughs> So we're exploring the La Fortuna waterfall. Uh, Brian has never been here before. He's traveled to Costa Rica a few times. He loves it here. And this is Zach and I's first. Oh my gosh, is this right here? Yeah, but then you walk down. Okay, so I guess there's like stairs to walk down to this waterfall. And it's raining, so that's wonderful. It's Brian. Is it not raining in La Fortuna though? <laughs> Brian and I are suited up in our rain gear. And Zach is just taking one for the team. <laughs> oh, you see that? 
Ooh. Oh, the zip line. The zip line? The zip line? Wow. We are in a rainforest, so the rain comes and goes. <laughs> Holy <Wow>. cow. <laughs> that is crazy. How beautiful. Yeah, that is beautiful. Look at all the parrots down there. Oh no, those are leaves. Those are... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just leaves. Yeah. It looked like a bunch of birds flying down from the trees, but it's just leaves. I guess we take the steps and it brings us all the way to the base. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> About 30 flights of stairs later. You hear the waterfall? I would say it's worth it. That is a big waterfall. That looks like a waterfall. Pardon? Are you gonna go swimming? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. What about you? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go in. There's a bunch of fish. But it's fresh water. Or no, they're probably like these mullet. Oh yeah, there they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not mm. trout. Um, I believe they're the, they look like mullet. Back mullet? in Florida, we okay. call them mullet, but that's what they resemble here. Okay. I think they have the same fish in Jamaica when I was swimming at a waterfall. But that's so cool. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Zach, I see you being so cold right now. <laughs> Are you ever going to be ready? No. <laughs> you just got to go for it. So after our coffee tour and after our waterfall experience, we are here on the trail of Bolgorin. Si. Is that how you say it? Good accent, good accent. <laughs> I tried. Pura vida, pura vida. So Zach and I are actually the only ones on this little tour today for the pura vida. <laughs> pura vida, and loose. Yeah. yeah, and it's the last tour of the day. It's our three o'clock, so. We, go back home. we got a private tour now. So we are on the hunt for sloths. Um, sloths are native here in Costa Rica and hopefully we can get some good shots of them up in the trees. Our guide has this really cool telescope that I think we'll be able to snap some pictures through the telescope um, if my phone or zoom camera can't focus through the leaves to see the sloths. So there you go, there you go. What what is this? We're gonna see a beautiful glass frog over there. The transparent, translucent froggy that it looks like glass. Oh! It's on the leaf there. I also wanna show you guys, hopefully, the one with the red eyes. Did that you put the, the frog most, there? No. We <laughs> find them all here in natural habitat, my friends. Would you mind um, if you Shining? make the light over there? Yeah. Please, appreciate yeah. it. Right there? See, thank you. You see that green under the big leaf? Yeah. That's, That's a the, frog? It is a frog. Wait, on the... That, it looks like a piece of gum stuck underneath <laughs> that leaf. It's a sleeping. They come out in the night, guys. Oh, I see him on the leaf. Wow, the GoPro picks that, up, that telescope up pretty good. So that's a frog on the leaf right there. 
Make, make a film, guys. Make, make oh, a wow. film. Make Look. a film. That's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, on. He's out in the open. open. Wow, look how big and look the baby, guys. Look at the baby. Very proud of Costa Rica. You see that? So far, so good. Oh, my God. Look, look, guys, the baby. Look, look how big. Look how big. It's Chewbacca. It's grande. <laughs> Two clouds in the front, three on the back. The other is three back in front. They don't interbreed, and this is the one that is hard to see, guys. Oh. The best ones oh. in camouflage, guys. Wow. Look you saw that? It looks like a frog. See, and also like a snake. Wait, mm. it's a mom and baby bird? Uh huh. You can see it's right there, like 10 feet Where? away from us. They are nocturnal, oh, guys. Oh, I see them. They are nocturnal. It's right there. They're now sleeping, but even in the oh night. Oh my god. They keep going on the ground. They're always guys. on the ground? See. Look at this. Uh, you it's can't even see how the they're sitting until you see their. I guess they don't have any predators. They the baby's sitting so well. right in they front of them. They can even fly, yeah. guys. Aww. And they actually have very good sensors for them to feel the snakes that are coming to them. Really? Like little hairs, like cats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They feel everything around it. Oh my God. So when they need to escape, they just fly up and go down and perch back on the background again. Come guys, Big old termite they eat nest. 9,000 every time. 9,000 termites? See, when I also hungry and I need protein, yeah. film it, look at this. Your guide is a little bit crazy. <laughs> Pura vida. You eat them? Yes. Stop. I actually yeah. do this. You are not. I, I rub them on my face <laughs> because this is the best bug repellent for malaria, chikungunya, dengue. Really? Because they smell it, guys. Oh, they stink. Can you smush some. them? They oh, yeah. smell like... Sorry, man. No, you're good. Here. Let me get some of these guys. Oh, interesting. And... <laughs> Eat it, man. We can also eat <laughs> yeah, it. No. There you go. <laughs> mm, more protein. Stop it. It's on your, there's a bug on your lip, too. Mm. Delicious. You did mm. not. Tastes like chicken. I ate like 10 of them. <laughs> Empanada de pollo, right? <laughs> Empanada de termite. <laughs> tastes like uh, strong. They, they taste uh, a resin. That bad. Yeah. yeah, I'll pass. It's considered it's healthy, guys. Wait there. Aya. Look, guys, he's waving to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's scratching his head. Plant. And a coffee plant. Huh? A hummingbird nest in the coffee plant. Maybe some eggs inside. It's starting. We are at the beginning of the oh. breeding season. Oh. The pretty orb weaver oh spider. Oh my god. That is gnarly. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'll pass there, on that. There, right? I'm gonna stand over oh, here. Don't touch the leaves <laughs> of Costa Rica. A poison, poison frog? Poison dart. Poison dart frog? And Rocky Ronians for doctors because they make anesthesia from those for paralytic people. Rocky Ronians? Means they, they now make it synthetic, but this one used to be the ones for curare. They also make a cure for, from the poison of the frogs, but it's yeah. also deadly. So this one is the black and green, and there are also red and blue ones. We maybe gonna see them on the way. Yeah, the blue jeans. The blue jean ones. Yeah, we got it, man. Poison dart frog. Is it focusing on the frog? Mm -hmm. Nice. And you're in sure la that's noche. Not, not poisonous. Sí, solo colores, pero no no tiene veneno. There's like in, four in to six. It, oh, they come out at night. So there's Bad there's like six either. bats that are under the leaves, Bad way up Bad there. Bad. I'll show you guys on the the microscope here. Oh, they're so cute. All right, so you see them little one, two, three, four, five, five or six little black dots under the leaves. Upside down, waiting for the night. Yes, how cool. They can eat your blood. Yeah, it's considered they, in the book of vampires, they also have been in people. Maybe that's Dracula. <laughs> there you go. What if it breaks? Careful. <laughs> you survive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you filmed that? Yes. Daddy long leg. Look at all these daddy long leg spiders right here on this leaf. Oh my gosh. 
Oh no, no, no. Look at them underneath too. They're Under. all underneath. Why do they group up like that? Happy birthday. Or maybe party. <laughs> Stick your hand in there. <laughs> That's a party. <laughs> Stick your hand in there. Get a couple on your fingers. Yeah, they don't like me. Come here. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Imagine walking through that in the woods. <laughs> no, thank you. We're here at one of the free hot springs that they have here um, right outside of La Fortuna. They had a bunch of graffiti on the walls in there. When you look up this hot spring online, you'll see all that graffiti. But we're gonna actually make our way downstream and get a little bit more secluded. There's a lot of people up there sitting in like the natural hot tubs over there. So we're gonna see if we can get away from the people. Ooh. There's a bunch of other hot springs in the area, but um, you do have to pay for them and they're in like hotels and resorts. It's so beautiful. It's crazy, this water looks cold, but it's actually very warm. One couple said it was like bath water, so I was kind of like, oh man, like I want it to be hot, but it's actually very comfortable. Whew. When we got here, this guy came over to us and he said, you guys like spiders? There's a huge tarantula over there. The, well, I've only seen one tarantula in my life in the wild. Have you seen a big tarantula in the wild? I yeah, have. you and have. They let you play with them, but Kelly was like, "No, don't touch it. You're gonna get bit." <laughs> no, no, we can't get bit here. There's no hospital anywhere nearby. Don't touch it. Please. I told him not to pick it up because I was scared it was gonna bite him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you him up? No. Do not. Do not bite. get bit. No. He's not gonna bite. That's my first wild tarantula. Give him a yoink. Give him a yoink. Yoink? Ah, it's not even moving! <laughs> oh yeah, because you're... Come on. That was my yoink. If you just pick him up gently, he'll like, stay in your hand. What if he bites you? No. You gotta you nudge him with a stick. What if they bite? Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Oh, he's so soft. Hi. You're so soft. <laughs> that is really cool. downstream and we found this nice little pool and then it dips goes down more oh it's nice i feel like it's like two degrees colder than it was it up there though it's like warm bath water and i feel like i think this water is super loud but it's it funny because there's a construction site right next to us that we had a hike past um i feel like we might be trespassing not too sure but it's very private Needless to say, the hot springs were absolutely amazing. And there's actually a sloth right up in the trees right there, which we zoomed in on the zoom camera for you guys so you could see it. Super slow moving, just hanging out, chilling. And fun fact, sloths actually come down to the ground once a week to go poop. Who knew? How to hitchhiking go? Zach's trying to hitchhike. Oh look, they're hitchhiking too. They're trying to hitchhike. I told you, it's a thing to do here. It's Pura Vida, man. Pura Vida.
you guys, our trip to La Fortuna in Costa Rica was absolutely incredible. Just to spend some time in the jungle with the sloths, with the chocolate, with the coffee, with the, what else did we do? Oh, the hot springs was incredible. Hold on. Wasn't sure if it was foggy, but right now we actually traveled about two and a half, three hours to Playa Hermosa, which is a little bit south of Jaco Beach. And we're at this beautiful hotel right now. Check out some of the drone footage I took earlier this evening. But here's our view from our second story. Now I'm not really filming too much here. Um, Zach and I are just relaxing. We're eating some good food. We're gonna have a bonfire on the beach tonight. And I'm catching up on some editing because I have a lot of work to do. However, tomorrow we're gonna make our way back to San Jose and we're gonna fly to Gofito and then from Gofito, take an hour car ride south to Pavonas. We're gonna be meeting up with our friends, Nikki, Cooper, CJ, a couple other of CJ's friends for his birthday. And we're gonna do three days of spearfishing. If you guys don't remember, a year ago, a whole year ago, I shot the women's world record, Mahi Mahi. It was an absolutely huge fish. And um, hopefully we can't get into some big fish uh, on this trip. Hopefully some elephant tuna, pubera, pubera snapper, but I'm super, super stoked. But right now this video is ending. I know the long video is a vlog of all of La Fortuna, which is absolutely beautiful. I would 100% recommend going to La Fortuna for a few days just to explore Costa Rica. Oh, that's a good wave. Zach is surfing right now. I don't know where he is, but I'm gonna go ahead and get myself together. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.